What's up guys, it's Trizzle here with Triz Tech and Electronics. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a couple new apps and tweaks for iOS devices from the city of Jailbreak. Uh, I did a video about a month ago showing you know the tweaks and apps that I use the most from Cydia and I wanted to take this time to give a little update video of what I'm using the most right now or uh, not the most but a couple added applications and tweaks that I use uh, considerably and widgets I guess I should say alright so the first one is in settings we're gonna go check this out this one is an application and it is called it's called Intel, Intel iScreen X. And what this is, this is an application out of the City App Store. We will zoom in on this a little bit. All right, so this is what it is, and this is inside uh, your settings application of your iOS device. You can have it set to mess with your mail client, your Facebook, your Twitter, and the RSS reader. The RSS reader is news readers from Google, Yahoo, and the New York Times. Now, what you're probably wondering what all these things are doing, because you probably already have the iOS, mobile, Facebook, Twitters, and I'm sure you guys have news feeds that you religiously watch or look at. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to show you. Well, what Intel iScreen X does is if you scroll down your notification center, you're going to see that this is a little bit different uh, than the stock notification center. I'm going to stay zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see this better. Alright, so it does look a teeny bit different than the normal. You have your uh, your time up here, you have the weather, uh, and the stock market stuff, whatever. Ignore the tap tweet thing, I will talk about that uh, momentarily. Uh, but, so now you're wondering why I showed you the Facebook, Twitter, and RSS feeds. Well, if you see up here, it keeps changing between Twitter and Facebook, and you can scroll to these. It shows you the most recently posted things from people whether it's on Facebook, Twitter or your email okay so if you scroll to the screen to the left alright this is your email client so now if you zoom in a little bit you can see this it is your email client so it shows all the emails that you have received in this little feed which is pretty cool you can click on them make them bigger uh, read them and you can make them bigger uh, you can open it to respond you can mark on red you can delete right from this feed so if we scroll back, this is obviously the home screen still. Another thing that they've added to this home screen that I neglected to say is if you scroll down a little bit farther, they have all these little widget shortcuts, similar to like an Android device, which is pretty cool. I mean, most people probably have SBS settings if you have a jailbroken device, uh, but these make it a little bit even more simple because all you got to scroll down and tap it or whatever just gives you another little shortcut into something that Apple should have done uh, by itself anyway and again I do want to reiterate that this phone is still an iOS 5.1.1 device it is not 6.0 uh, so now if you scroll to the right a little bit now you have your Facebook feed okay so this gives the news feed from your Facebook right in your notification center so you can scroll through look at it do whatever uh, you can click on posts click on one of these you can click on a post and see it says open like or comment so you can do any of those from right here which is really really cool it's a pretty cool aspect also if you scroll over a little bit more you have your Twitter feed now which is the same thing it's your Twitter timeline the same deal as uh, the Facebook one it has all the tweets all of your friends whatever that have tweeted or tweeted at you or are tweeting or whatever if you scroll over to the right one more time this is the RSS feed this has uh, Google News from Science and Tech it has a New York Times technology page uh, as the top stories from Google News it has the New York Times homepage, and then you go into your Yahoo News, most popular news from Yahoo, and world news headlines from Yahoo. So that's a pretty cool little deal. This is Intel I Screen X, and this is what it is. It has all these little deals. So that's Intel I Screen X. Now I also want to talk about a widget. You can see here it's tap to tweet, and as I read stated before I'm gonna reiterate it this is an iOS 5 device it's 5.1.1 jailbroken device you're wondering why this tap to tweet icon is there if you have tried out iOS 6.0 the beta you notice that they have this tap to tweet widget in your notification center with iOS 6 well if you have an iOS 5.1.1 device if you go into Cydia you can search iOS 6 Twitter widget and what it is, that's what this is, and it's in the City App Store. You download it, you go into your notifications, you set it up, and all you do, if you want to make a quick tweet without opening the application or anything, 
Uh, you can click on it, and just tap it real quick, it brings this up. We're going to type in, this is a test. Okay, so this is a test, and we are going to press send. So you hear the whistle, as you know, with iOS devices, it chirps when it sends to Twitter, it tweets. So now we're going to scroll over to the Twitter feed real quick. And we see it updated right away, and it says this is a test. So you see Trizzle 5586, Triz Tech and Electronics, this is a test. So see, it, it's instantaneous. It's a really cool concept if you just want to tweet out real fast. Really, really cool idea. Um, another thing that I have now added into this, uh, which is really cool, is from the photo portion uh, of the thing now if you go into your camera roll you can get a tweak uh, from Cydia to where you can now post images straight from your camera roll to Facebook so you click the share button see how it says Facebook here you know with iOS 6 you have Facebook integration with iOS 5.1.1 you still do not well with this tweak on a jailbroken device you do so all you gotta do is click on it you say Facebook, you can type what you want. Uh, we're going to say so true. We're going to say OK. And it's gone. And now, what this application is called is when you first set it up or whatever, see, it has to go through Sarah. It's now Sarah are the people that do that or dedicated this application. So it has to go through them to uh, OK it. We're going to skip through this a little bit and I'm going to come back when it's loaded. Okay, so it's loaded now, and now if we click down here, and we're in, we're on Facebook mobile, on the internet now, and we're going to let this respring re a little bit real quick, or redo whatever, and we are going to go in here, we're going to go to my actual timeline on Facebook, and you are going to see that this picture that I just did uh, through the Facebook notification thing from the photo, once it loads, my internet is being very slow and it knocked it out of Wi-Fi because it resprung. See how it says so true and there's the picture that I just posted uh, straight from my camera reel. It's actually really cool. Yeah, so this tweak, the Facebook uploader which I just showed you is called Facebook This on Cydia and you can find it in the Cydia app store. You just search Facebook This and you will then be able to upload pictures straight from your photo slash camera roll. Uh, straight to Facebook just as though you can with Twitter right out of the box and this is again on iOS 5.1.1 this is not iOS 6 another new application or tweak that I have been using considerably is this lock to respring okay so from the lock spring if you see over here right now I just resprung my phone so it's not gonna work whatever you're seeing on normally you'll see this little reload button over here and you just hit it and you can respring it right from there. I don't need to right now but that is called respring from lock uh, and you can find that one in the Cydia app store as well. Another thing that you guys are probably noticing when I did this uh, you know tap to tweet thing here another tweak that I have in here is so when you start off you see it's in capital letters on the keypad well I have a really hard time when I'm typing on my iPhone that I always end up typing in capital letters because the screen is always in caps as it is on a keyboard in general well when I type the first letter from the sentence is a capital letter but when it changes they turn lowercase did you see that and so this one is uh, keyboard to lowercase and that is also a tweak out of the city app store it works in anything that's unofficial uh, things like city or the app store things like that when you search things they do stay capital uh, but anything else, Facebook, Twitter, text messages, uh, whatever, they all change to lowercase letters. Uh, so it's a really cool tweak as well. Uh, that's all I really have to report. Uh, these are the ones that I am currently using. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's either located in the top right-hand corner over here section of the video viewing area or directly below the video about right here. And it's a thumbs up. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Likes, favorites, shares are greatly appreciated. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.